Hello, welcome to Biostock Studio here in Stockholm. Today we're taking a closer look at Miris Holding, a medtech company based in Uppsala. Joining me for a short Q&A is CEO of the company, Camilla Sandberg. Welcome, Camilla. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so I'd like to start off by asking you, from 2001, when the company was founded, uh, the company has taken leaps and bounds and has changed uh, quite a bit. Um, what would you attribute uh, the, the overall changes? How does the company look like today? Yeah, so I think um, it's actually important to remember that when the company started, uh, it, we developed an instrument for dairy milk analysis. So it was meant as a small portable instrument to take out to the field and you were able to look at nutritional content in dairy milk, basically. Um, and then um, based on that, we had a request from a professor in Lund working with premature babies looking at nutrition who thought maybe this was possible to do for breast milk as well. Now, uh, dairy milk and breast milk is really different when it comes to composition. It sounds like it's the same, but it's not. Uh, and so the company was able to uh, make a unit was, which was based on breast milk analysis instead of dairy milk analysis, uh, which is an achievement in itself, honestly. Um, now, um, that kind of went on for quite a while that uh, the, the company sold both a clinical application and uh, the dairy milk analyzer, which is not uh, a clinical application, which made it a little bit different, difficult to focus, I would say, because you have two very, very different markets that you need to cover. Uh, so I would say 2000, uh, 12 or m maybe more around 2014, it was kind of an, a stated uh, focus to focus more on the breast milk analysis. Um, and a big part of that was looking at the, the quality of the instrument I itself. So um, a lot of work was done to make it more uh, reliable, basically, uh, which made it possible for us then uh, a few years later to start to uh, commercialize everything a bit, in a bit more focused way, honestly, because without that, it would be very hard to um, uh, to have a, a commercial focused effort to sell it into a, cl a clinical setting, uh, because you need quality to do that. So, um, with that, I think the whole shift of uh, focusing on margins, focusing on a, a, a product line which is uh, uh, synchronized and, and all that. And also the communication we use has made us into a brand which is somebody that, something that anybody in working with nutrition in, in a premature setting um, knows, they know what it is. And, they know that we're the experts because even if you do analysis of dairy milk and say that you can do it for breast milk, you don't have the clinical knowledge of it. We're kind of alone in the, in the world on the market of having this competence, uh, which makes us uh, quite unique and uh, may, puts us uh, on the map uh, as a very unique company, I would say today. Yeah. Uh, well, that brings me to my next question, which is uh, why is the content of breast milk so important from a medical standpoint? Yeah, so, so um, the thing is that when you're, when you're born prematurely, you mm -hmm. have such an enormous need for nutrition. It's yeah. very different from when you're born at the right time, basically, uh, or, or at full time. So uh, because I mean, the last trimester, uh, the baby is growing very, very quickly mm. in the belly, usually. Mm. Uh, all organs, uh, muscles, the brain, everything is growing very, very quickly. So if you take the baby out, you need to mimic that need for uh, or get that nutrition in. Um, if you don't do that, you will have all kinds of clinical uh, effects of that, even on the brain um, and, and um, growth and you can have problems with organs and so on. You can get blind, you can have other issues. And if you 
uh, get too much nutrition, mm. you get fat, which is mm. no good for a baby mm. because that have cl clinical implications later in life from di diabetes, uh, heart problems, etc. So you need to try to ensure that you mimic what what's in in the in the belly, basically. Sure. Yeah, to get that level of nutrition, basically. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, what is what is HMA exactly, and mm. um, yeah, how does it work in in, in brief terms? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's an instrument. Uh, it's uh, based on mid IR. Uh, technology so you have wavelengths that go through you have you uh, inject the milk into a cuvette and then the wavelengths uh, go through the milk uh, from an emitter through the milk and then a detector will uh, detect basically the concentration and there are uh, algorithms that will basically tell you exactly the concentration of the the milk uh, so it's it's well known known technology which has been around for a very long time yeah, yeah. Ah, it's fascinating <laughs> <laughs> for sure um, so what about the market potential for 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 HMA and uh, could you also sp speak a little bit about uh, Miri's overall business strategy yeah, so, so the market potential is huge. I mean, we're alone on the market uh, uh, and we cover 98% of Sweden, other than that, where it is a, a, a standard of care. Uh, other than that, we have potential to do the same in all other countries, in my opinion. Uh, in, in addition to NICUs, we also cover milk banks. Uh, so in Sweden, the milk banks are kind of connected to the NICU. Um, uh, but in other countries, you will have standalone milk banks. So in the U.S., for example, the milk, there are 32 milk banks, and they uh, see an, a tremendous increase in 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 uh, request for breast milk instead mm -hmm. of formula, uh, which has usually been what you use in the U.S. Um, because more and more NICUs realize that breast milk is the best nutrition. Yeah. So our aim is to. Uh, install HMA in all NICUs and milk banks globally um, and uh, I think to get there uh, it's a lot of education, seminars, uh, um, it's a lot of uh, traveling for us, using distributors where, where it's needed but also be out there in the field ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that's kind of something we're continuing. Uh, in parallel with uh, developing our next generation um, of an instrument. So it can be a little bit more automated, uh, communicate uh, better, et cetera, et cetera, where we can build in what we need, basically. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, well, finally, uh, looking ahead, uh, what are some of the main milestones uh, we can look forward to from Miris? So first of all, sales continue our sales progress uh, to uh, um, ensure that we're um, continuing to build our customer base is um, front and center for us at all times. Um, next, we will, um, we're very focused on, on uh, getting um, certified ISO 13 for 85 mm -hmm. <laughs> certification, which we are um, doing this spring, mm -hmm. uh, which is obviously very important to get uh, that quality uh, stamp, um, since that's also increasing our market potential, other places, uh, other regions in the world. Um, and on top of that, um, uh, continuing the pre-project um, of developing next generation um, HMA. So uh, that includes also hiring new R&D director and, and continuing that work so we can see that move forward. Great. Well, we definitely look forward to following Amiris and uh, thank you so much for joining us today and uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you.